So someone was kind enough to email me and bring my attention to a post, and it's from Ethan's brother. The vast majority of you may have already seen and read this, but for those of you who haven't, I'm going to read it and we'll just touch on it very quickly. So it says, They don't and won't. The families want a conviction, not an arrest. The police and FBI are not here to please curious minds. They are building a case to make sure whoever did this is convicted and the families get some sort of closure, if at all possible. And he goes on to say that he doubts that he ever will. I so badly wish I could just come on here and blurt out everything I know that the public wants to hear but because I respect my family and Ethan, I will hold on to it until the time is right. What we've got to remember is these families are in the inner circle. I would imagine that they will have certainly more information that we have. I wouldn't have thought they would have information that could become harmful to the investigation still because law enforcement still have to protect the integrity of the case. And when we already know that there are certain members of the family who are likely to have information withheld from them because they fucking know that they will speak and potentially mess things up. And look, what I will say as a side note is I'd probably be that person. I don't think anybody can criticise a father for how they would act and react in this situation because I think out of all of them, his reactions, and you know who I'm speaking about, would probably be the closest to my own because I would be going frantic. But I do feel that Ethan's brother's words should bring people hope. For those of you who are invested in this case, and you will look at it every day, and you worry whether this is going to go cold or whether they are going to find out who did this, this to me, again, it brings a, a degree of hope that, yes, law enforcement are indeed working on this. They're building a case, and eventually someone will be brought to justice. And I do feel, I must say, that this was, I mentioned in an earlier video, that I believe this is someone close to these guys. I do believe that. So maybe it's now just about waiting for the pieces just to fall into place. But do not think this case is over. Do not think this case is going to go cold. I don't think it is. I think with every day that passes we are going to get closer to the end, to a conclusion, to a conviction, to some degree of justice. Don't get me wrong, we're never going to get the justice that this crime deserves because we just don't work that way anymore. But whoever did this, they're not going to get away with it. I can't see that happening. So have a little bit of faith, hold on to a little bit of hope, and I will catch you all in tonight's live. <laughs>